This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. A function you might find useful in your C++ programs is the size of function. This function returns the number of bytes used to store either a data type or an expression. So for example, we can write C out the size of an integer is size of int indel. And if we build and run the program, you see that it says the size of an integer is 4. Let's try that with a couple of more data types. The size of a double is size of double indel and C out. The size of a string is size of string indel. Oh, I left out my closing parenthesis there. Try it again. There we go. So you see the size of a double is 8 and the size of a string is 4. We can also use this on expressions. So we can write int num equals 1234 and then say C out the size of num is size of num. Build and run that program. And it's 4 just like we expected because num is an int variable and we know ints are stored in 4. So there's no difference between the data type and the variable itself. We can also do size of with pointers. So we can write int star pnum equals the address of num and then C out the size of the pointer pnum is better drop down to the next line size of pnum indel and then we can write C out the size of the value pointed at by pnum is size of star pnum indel. Now let's build and run that program. And those are both four, which we expected because we're working with the data type int and we know the size of int is four. One more thing we can do with size of is use it to calculate the number of elements in an array. And this could also turn out to be useful. So let's create an array int numbers, we'll put some numbers in, 5, 10, 15, 20. And then we can write int size equals size of numbers divided by the size of numbers. Before we see what the size is, or see how this computation takes place, let's talk about the individual parts of that. So let's write C out size of numbers. I'm going to comment out this other code just so it doesn't clutter up our output through right here. And let's see what we get. 16. Well, he gave us 16 because that's giving us the total size of the array. Notice that we have four integer values, each taking four bytes. So the size of numbers is 16, 4 times 4. Now, let's do the pointer to see what one element is. We'll expect it to be 4, and that's correct. So now we can write the number of elements in numbers is size of, well, we already have that calculation, size, indel. Build and run the program, and we have 4. Let's add 1 to the list. Make it 25, build and run that program, and we get 5. So rather than constantly work with a variable that represents the size of the array, we can use size of with the array and a pointer to the first element of the array to determine the size of a pointer. In the next video, we're going to look at how to work with functions and pointers.